start the testimonial because Rex and I came into this chapel 20 years ago. I know, it's like so hard to believe. 20 years, I came in as, we just kind of walked in, we came from the Bay Area, our loving church we had there. And I've grown up, in, I, I say that I've grown up in this church, in this center, because I really have. And um, so whether you've been here two years, one year, this is your first time, it doesn't matter. If you have a feeling about this space you just want to share, I invite you to come up. And I just want to share the fond memories I have of the drum circles, the potlucks, the movie nights. And I also taught yoga here for many years, specifically for the county workers for their lunch hour. And I had a, a, like 10 to 15 county workers would come at noon to one every Wednesday. And I did yoga with them. Mainly it was de-stressing. And I still have some of them that take class with me. It's just amazing, so I was grateful for that. And remember all the speakers we had, Miguel Ruiz Jr., Matthew Fox, Dr. Bill Larkin, Michael Gott, the Tibetan monks have been here. So many events, so that's my memory. So please come up and share.
she had the dignity in class not to do this, but as she's heading up the freeway, it fell off her seat onto the floor. I'm talking about Susan's chili, which was probably the winning chili. And she, uh, she chose not to put it back in the pot and smoke it. <laughs> she admitted to us that it had to happen. But I'm sure it was a delicious chili. Um, anyway, other than that, this has been home for, for 10 years for me. It's not the building, it's the community that is at home. So uh, I know that you're going to flourish and move forward. Services and all that. I remember 
uh, Mary Youngblood concert here. I remember meeting, I met John, uh, John Ruiz uh, Jr. here twice. I met my teacher, Matthew Fox. I read several of his 40 books, but I never met him until he came here. Just, uh, and a whole lot of things that I'm, I'm not coming up in my mind right now, but uh, the monks, you know, we've had the monks here. Uh, this place is just such a warm, warm place in my heart, and, and as everybody says, it's you, you know, you are the community. So bless us all, and bless this place. Uh, thank you, building, for housing us and sheltering us and giving us a place to pray and play. Uh, we are so grateful as we move along for where we have been able to be. I wanted to come up here for a couple of reasons, but one of them was just to look at everybody in this direction. It's wonderful. Um, I have been coming here since probably two, or 1994, something like that. Um, I remember sitting with our little son at the time um, and he, as he got older, he would, he would tolerate it. <laughs> and as he got older, he would start checking off, announcements are done. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he was 12, I couldn't tie him to the chair anymore. It was too embarrassing. So he left, but <laughs> I feel like the seed was planted. So many memories. Um, I used to teach Sunday school upstairs with uh, Jane LeBeau and Pixie. We actually had children. One year, and I had forgotten this, we actually had a summer camp for the public, and we, the kids came for a week, and uh, that was wonderful. I was the coordinator for the greeting, the greeters, the volunteers who did the welcoming and did that, and that was wonderful. Served on the board one time. Um, but meeting so many friends and learning so many things. Um, I remember Brenda Boston, if some of you remember, she was uh, our soloist for a long time. She got married here. And that was a, a wonderful memory. We've had memorial services here. Um, at one point, a short time, we actually had this as a wedding chapel, and we had a few weddings. And I remember sitting back there, and, and my only experience with electronics was turn, okay, you turn this on when they do that, and then you turn the music off when they do that. And I knew that was not the job for me. <laughs> um, there have just been so many, many things. Um, I think just the teaching, learning so much, and having the community. And um, I kind of think of us as tortoises in that we're carrying our home with us. Wherever we go, it's, it's going to be there with us. So uh, I love this building, and I, I want to add my blessing to it, and all of us, and know that we have great opportunity for change ahead. And thank you for all. Thank you. Thinking back the last probably 19 years, you know, the one thing that kind of stuck out in my mind, I have to admit, was the first year we were here. It was uh, early 05. Suzanne and I, we got a little involved, but um, <laughs> there was some time between when we first got here and the first rummage sale that we helped, oh, helped in. Oh, that uh, Andy Clayton, oh, Andy. who a handful of you or five or ten people probably remember, she looked at me and she goes, and probably didn't say it in exactly these words, the same words, but she said, you know, you're the future of this church. And little did she, little did I know.
kind of silly talk. We've only been here maybe two years or so. We're kind of newbies to this community. But um, we, I stumbled upon you guys. Um, we had moved here from Wisconsin, and I had a, a newborn baby, and we didn't know anybody here. And I'm a crier, as you guys already know. Uh, so it's probably coming later. Um, and I, we were driving, and I kind of got through a dark night of the soul where like religious dogma wasn't working anymore. I needed, I just needed heart connection. I, I wanted God, but I didn't want to have all the noise, you know, and the thoughts and the dogma. So I was kind of like, I don't know where I belong spiritually, you know, I was doing yoga and feeling God that way. And then I was driving, we drove to Grass Valley to go to the Unity Church for a while up there, and I kept seeing a sign on that highway for the Foothill Center for Spiritual Living. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. It just kept popping in my consciousness. And then one day I stumbled in to get some acupuncture and saw your card, Reverend Suzanne, for your yoga class. And I saw Graves and yoga. And I thought, oh, maybe this is where I belong. So there's a lot of little nudges that led up our family here. And I remember when we finally walked in, I thought, you guys, my heart just like felt the love in this build, you know, I was just longing for connection and community that we didn't know anybody and um, I didn't realize the power of community and community of people that actually don't know each other, just really loving each other and listening. Um, it was just so powerful, especially at a time when I was so lonely and didn't have a community. So I'm just so grateful. I've learned so much from being a part of this community and receiving that compassionate presence. Um, and I know that that's what makes this place magical, is just the compassion and the care of strangers. I believe in the power of that. I think that's how we will heal and change the world, is communities like this where we listen and care about people, whether we know them or not. Um, that's what you've given to me. And uh, now I'm giving it back in my own work, in my own way. And it's so nice to get an inhale from all of you guys before I exhale it to other people. So. I'll be following along with you as we make the transition, and uh, we're going to be the change together, I think. So thank you both. She has really good composure for a prior. <laughs> to this building, I was privileged to do a lot of painting in different rooms. Uh, up in the loft, I was tasked with painting on those walls, and there was a class being held up there every week. And one day, the day I came in to work, the class had written pencil all over the walls, messages of love. Thank you, Carol, for painting this. And that's up there under the paint of the walls. That's sweet. That's so sweet. And I'm a real sucker for old architecture. <laughs> um, I ran the bookstore for, well, I worked in the bookstore for quite a while and did some. We did the real love group upstairs for quite a while, moved it to a different uh, location, and we continued it still for quite a while. That was life changing. I came here shortly after um, Suzanne and Rex by a couple years ago. I, I met them and Don and Mark at country dancing, and I felt the vibe. And Mark actually said, well, yeah, I, I know her from this church. And I, my, I rolled my eyes, and I'm like, you're not getting me back into a church. <laughs> you know? But I came in here the next Sunday, and I haven't left. What Richard said, my heart has always gone out to the new kid, the other kid who feels invisible, because I was always invisible. And it's been my I mean, it was the first one to say hi to Marianne, walking in the door. I remember that first day going, oh, there's a new girl. <laughs> <laughs> Found a very dear friend in Julie because we worked concession booth at a concert here one time, clicked, you know. And I, I remember the people, I mean, John Haas and Deborah and all the people who have passed. 
Jack Bruce. past month I've been thinking of all these people that have passed. Yeah. Pixie and John meeting here and getting married and moving on to their own great ministry. I'm so grateful for both of you. I came here right on the tails of a divorce that I could not let go of. I was so heartbroken. And with the teachings and the love here, I flourished and found my own self. See, now that's a choir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.